For more on this, William Lawrence is a professor of political science at the American University. He joins us now live from Tunis. Welcome to the TRT World. Your take on uh, President Biden's uh, visit to the Middle East so far? Well, a lot of people didn't want it to happen because of what Biden said during the campaign and because so many people in Washington knew Jamal Khashoggi and uh, uh, felt personally uh, uh, touched in various ways by his killing. Um, and when Biden said what he said during the campaign, it, uh, uh, it resonated with that group. And then, of course, uh, the energy situation is what prompted this trip. Um, but, you know, I've been on these missions. I, I was on the Trump trip to Riyadh. I was one of the 30 Americans they brought along, the experts. You know, and these types of trips uh, become sort of kitchen sink exercises where, you know, I counted about eight announcements in Palestine. There was a long list of things happening in Israel and a long list of things happening in Saudi Arabia. And, of course, it gives uh, MBS a bump to have that photo op, the fist bump, the, the walk with Biden. Uh, and that, that, you know, establishes some of his international credibility. Um, but Biden did what he had to do. I mean, all of these uh, uh, emotions are forward motions in the right direction on important issues. But a lot of it isn't enough. Uh, and that's what you know, a lot of people are complaining about. And so you say Biden did what he had to do. So really, what was the purpose of this visit? Was it just to help with energy prices domestically? That's what prompted it. Without that, it wouldn't have happened. Uh, but when these things happen, you know, when these types of trips happen, um, the phrase I use is Christmas trees. You know, every part of the U.S. government, and the U.S. government is massive, will add things onto it. So Palestinians are getting $300 more million dollars of U.S. assistance and, a, and a, a sort of shifting of that relationship. Uh, big health inputs, big technology inputs. Uh, you know, there's a, a steps forward in the Saudi-Israeli normalization, which I personally don't think is that important without the Palestinians being included. Uh, but certainly these are important diplomatic steps. MBS gets to establish some of his international credibility and make his case to all these American officials at the higher levels. I mean, look at the entourage around Blinken. That's lots of other side meetings. Um, and I, I don't even know how much uh, Biden will get in terms of the, uh, the energy equation. Um, I know he'll get something in terms of the food equation and some of the other international arrangements at the GCC meetings. Um, but as I said, once these meetings uh, happen, a lot of things flow mm -hmm. out of them. And I expect to see um, a renewed attention of the White House uh, on the Middle East that following this trip, I'm getting you know, real-time uh, updates from the White House uh, as they're trying to get their message out to certain key people. So, uh, you know, this, these, these, these things can shift uh, administration's priorities. All right. William Lawrence from the American University, thank you very much indeed.